All right, guys, I kind of tied into this project and then thought, you know what, this may be a good little subject to make a video over. So I'm going to backtrack here and kind of catch you guys up on what's going on and uh, tell you what we're doing. So as you know by now, my skid steer lost an injector and the skid steer has got a DPF on it, diesel particular filter. And usually whenever you use an, lose an injector and pump a bunch of raw fuel into them, you get them clogged up. They get all sooted up. They get a mess. Yeah, just It's just not just not good on the inside let's put it that way so i pulled this thing off and i had full intentions of sending it off to having it professionally cleaned and i think the quote i got on that was like 700 dollars in there and it was going to be like three or four days before i got it back so i'm like i don't want to spend our 700 bucks then dropped about four grand on this thing so uh, I do what any other YouTuber would do. I go on YouTube and I get me a certified YouTube education. I even graduated and got the diploma. So <laughs> uh, I wish I could find, I can't even find the video I watched that was actually really helpful. Or I'd put it in the link of this description. But there are several different videos online or on YouTube that were very helpful about uh, basically uh, different ways to clean this thing. Now, the whole purpose of this thing is to collect carbon basically and i'm pretty sure these methods of cleaning it uh introduce some of that carbon back in the air so you want to be a little bit careful about that if you're an environmentalist so i was somewhat careful about that but my main goal was to try to save save <laughs> save 700 dollars. so after watching a couple youtube videos and doing some research online i thought you know what uh i'm gonna take a chance on this and uh pull it apart educate myself see what we got see how bad it is see if i can clean it um i do know for a fact that it was it was plugged there was no if ands buts or questions about that so i'm gonna get this burger pulled, pulled apart and then um, i'll kind of show you what little bit i know about the insides of it and then uh, i think i later on the video here i pick it up i decide this is a good subject for a video so i kind of explain a little better about what i'm doing and how i'm going to go about cleaning it so Let's jump into the video here and check her out. All right, guys, I got this girl part. Let me show you what little bit I know about it. So this is the exhaust coming in off the engine. So basically that bolts right on top of your turbo. So this is, this is just basically a screen to keep big stuff from getting stuck in that. So, so the, the, the exhaust comes out of here. This is bolted to that. So this is the, fresh exhaust side see how nasty and dirty and sooty that is that's not actually as bad as i thought it was going to be but that's the soot and all the crap and everything so then it passes through this which they're basically calling the deep diesel particulate filter so the exhaust is going through here what comes out the other side well look how clean that side is that's like a combination of ceramic and a whole bunch of stuff i don't understand i'm not even going to try to understand but basically what that does is it gets really hot and it burns the remainder of the unburnt fuel and gets all the stuff out of the exhaust that's not supposed to be in the exhaust and then from there it goes into this housing and it mixes with oxygen some way shape or form out of here it's got a flip tube or like a slip fit right there and it draws air in around there and goes out the tailpipe so our whole purpose in life is we're basically going to clean this thing that's what our mission is so <laughs> this there's nothing fancy about this and there's nothing really crazy cool i'm gonna do with this i'm gonna gently pressure wash reverse order that the exhaust gases come through so i'm gonna pressure wash it back that way blow it out with air and repressure wash again blow it out with air, and basically keep repeating the process to the water coming out this side's clear is it gonna work? <laughs> I have no idea. But uh, there's only one way to find out, and that's a pressure washer bugger and see what happens. So I'm gonna find me a pressure washer and we're gonna see what happens. All right, guys, here's my setup and here's my plan. So there's the uh, DPF diesel particulate filter out of the skid steer. See that side's clean, that's that dirty. So basically, my plan is is I'm going to pressure wash, then blow air the opposite way of exhaust flow. So the exhaust flows this way. We're gonna go down that way. And we're gonna rinse, wash, repeat until basically uh, clean water comes out down there. 
I'm gonna use a uh, yellow tip and the pressure washer. And then I got my air hose over there. I guess the main thing is, is not to get too aggressive with it. I don't know if you can see down there. See those little uh, plugs in the end there? You basically don't want to uh, blow those out. So let's fire this pressure washer up and see what uh, see what happens. I got my old uh, jewel hooked up here. So we'll get this girl fired off and get to work. All right guys, here it is after I pressure washed it out. You've seen all the crap come out of it. One thing I did do uh, as a suggestion from uh, old Jason works a lot is um, I, the last time I, I pressure washed it out to come out with clean water, went back and forth, uh, water, air, water, air. Uh, probably did that about four times. It was pretty much getting all clean water out of it. Then. Uh, the last thing what I did was, is I soaked the end of it down real good with brake clean, let it sit for, I don't know, a couple minutes, and then come back with an air hose, and then I got this additional stuff out of it. You can see there wasn't a whole lot come out of there, but I did get a little bit more out of there. So, at this point, I'm confident she's clean. It's uh, cleaner than what it was, I know that much. So, we're going to put her back together, we'll put her on the machine and see if she works. All right guys, here it is after I got it all cleaned and all back together, get all the sensors put back in, whatever that mumble jumble is, I got it put back on there. Um, one thing I did do that ended up being pretty useful was I marked it. I labeled all these and then I drew lines across here because they are some, these notches do have to be lined up. Uh, I forgot where, there's a little guide rod here somewhere, but anyways, we're gonna see how she works. It's uh, time to put her back on the, uh, back on the old machine and See what happens.
All right, guys, there's the uh, diesel particulate filter, DPF, I think it's called, back in there after we got it cleaned. I put about uh, 15 hours on it since I cleaned it, and uh, so far, so good. I think, uh, I think our process worked. I guess time will tell. The real test will be uh, how long it goes between regens and how often it regens, but so far, so good. So I don't know if you learned anything out of that video. Hopefully, you can take something away from it. Either uh, use it to your advantage or uh, know what not to do. Either one, but it seemed to work for me. So, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll catch you on the next one.